Good evening all and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah. This video is essentially a continuation of part one. Uh, the title of the part one was Robust Architecture to Ingest uh, Stream Data into Elasticsearch Using Kinesis. That was part one where I showed you the architecture. Part two is about actually doing it. So let me show you what we are about to build. Um, I'm pretty sure you must be very, very excited. So as you can see, producers are gonna produce messages at a rapid rate and um, this is the Kibana dashboard which is going to update real time and you know I mean near real time is the word I, I should use and uh, yeah it will ingest the data through Firehose and then Firehose is dumping data to the open search or elastic search okay that's the sort of end goal but look at this guys beautiful right so let's take a look at the code code is very easy uh, nothing crazy I'm uh, having a for loop here generating a, a random data uh, essentially a clicks data a fake data right as you can see and um, we are essentially publishing publishing that to the firewalls right so how do we connect all the components very easy uh, i'll show you in a second so uh, first of all go to your firewalls uh, first of all make sure you have elastic search right so i already have one if you if you go here uh, you can see you know i can see my cluster right so I have an elastic search. We head over to uh, the delivery streams. I have one, but I'm gonna create one all, uh, for you. So this delivery stream is gonna, so as you can see source, it can come from a Kinesis data stream. I don't wanna add that for now. I'm just gonna say direct put. Okay, so I'm gonna insert data to my fire, to my fire host. Uh, destination will choose as a open search. Okay, uh, open search uh, here. Okay, so we gave some name here, whatever YouTube pipeline. Oh, now this is the beautiful part, right? Since you have a Firehose rose and if you want to transform data that I'm going to do in part three, okay, I want to go even in steps, right? Easy way. So here you can add a Lambda transformation, which means essentially when your data is being pumped to your uh, essentially Firehose, rose, your Lambda can take the batch of data, transform it, and you could do that. So if you need a transformation, uh, you could use AWS Lambda to, to uh, do that but um, more in next video you can enable it then it's gonna ask you the lambda ARN but as I said next video not this one um, now you see right I'll uh, browse my elastic search right uh, you can create an index here so you can say uh, if the index does not exist it's gonna create one okay so I will be dumping it to the test index index rotation every hour every day week month how often you want to rotate index I'm saying no for now I don't want to rotate index a retry duration if a record fails on the elk right after how many times you, after how much time you want to re retry uh, backup is essentially when it fails right where should it dump the failed records i usually go to the s3 so uh, i will select my bucket here dev bucket uh, so the fail the the so I, it's, it's, it's only gonna be the failed data right so i can say I'll put in the back of folder one, put in the error folder two. Uh, now here you can come here and configure the buffer size, buffer interval, uh, and here you can uh, of course select the compression when it goes to the S3. I personally like to do snappy because it's the fastest, right? Where it goes well with the glue crawler, right? Athena, blah, 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 all that. So I prefer that, but yeah, let's create a delivery stream now. And I'm, I'll be uh, producing events at a very rapid rate into the fire hose. Uh, as you can see now, we'll wait for a couple of seconds to, to, to create that, right? So now, meanwhile, that has been created. I already have one. So I put the name here. Now I'm going to simulate a lot of events being published. So at the current moment, I'm going to say 120. That should be a lot of events to publish, okay? Uh, so now I'm going to start. I'm going to bang this like lot of events right so as you can see very 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 rapid rate i'm publishing events heading over to my dashboard here i have 153 records but hopefully you will see a change in count right here i can come here and essentially say last 30 minutes i can see in last 30 minutes has been zero last one hour you could do that or you could just say hey show me in last 24 hours right so as you can see now so far 153 most of the data is coming from a mobile phone of course it's a fake data this shows you a user id as well and as you can see 
uh, we have published a lot of records 120 items right in a couple of seconds so again i'm publishing 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 and as soon as we hit the buffer interval the buffer um, and the time that we set on the firos the firos will then you know deliver the data to s3 and essentially to your elk okay so i'm gonna refresh keep 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 refreshing usually it takes about two to three minutes depending upon whatever size you have set so if i do a cat indices i can see you have um, 153 items which is what the dashboard reflects here right so i'm still waiting for the firos to deliver data at this point uh, so if you come here uh, this will also uh, create like folders for you you know backup year month day and minute partition so now you can run glue crawler on that you could do whatever you want if you wanted to load on redshift uh, so since you have a backup on s3 you could load it to red whatever you want is all i'm trying to say data should be always there on s3 as a copy so uh, that's that so if i head over to the monitor section uh, uh, and I switch back to a one hour interval and again I'm, I'm trying to publish um, messages as you can see it's a little hard to see because uh, here you can see we see some records but uh, as I said depending upon the buffer interval it might take time to reflect here on your open search okay so I'm still waiting 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 as you can see still 153 records and you know we are publishing here as you can see we continuously putting data right so so that's the beauty about firos right it it would you know take into the buffer and then easily give it to the open search right so now again dumping data now heading over to my dashboard back i'm trying to refresh i'm um, still i don't see anything so but i do see my data in my uh, so you can see records delivered you can see all the matrix here right that's amazing so at this point i'm simply waiting because i did set up a particular interval there so i'll wait and once um after a couple of seconds, I, I, I should see my uh, numbers are going up, hopefully. So still waiting, 153 here so far. And I'm gonna keep publishing messages here. I'm, I'm you know adding messages. So as you can see here, as you can see, the messages are still being added to the firehose right now. Ideally, you should pull it to the data stream, set up a retention period from data stream. You have a firehose, firehose goes to open search. But I'm el eliminating the Kinesis data stream part right now. Okay, so going back here, um, we just got to wait at this point. It, it, it usually takes about a couple of minutes to, to, to because remember, it's also going to uh, dump the entire data on the data lake, right? So uh, because I set up that setting, so year, month, uh, day, and then you have an hour partition, right? You can see more files have been added here, right? And if anything fails, remember, it will create an error folder. So you will have all the failed events as well, which is beautiful part uh, about the firehose, right? So I'm still waiting here. I'm zooming out and I'm trying to switch this to a one hour interval. Okay, so incoming bytes, I see some incoming bytes here. Put So I see some data here, right? So now at this point, just waiting. Refreshing my dashboard, still no data yet. Remember, uh, it's the settings that you have defined in the buffer interval and stuff, right? That that essentially, so as you can see, my buffer size is five megabytes, right? Buffer interval is 300 seconds. So depending upon that, the data will reflect in open search after that part, that much amount of, because you said buffer as five megabytes and you said buffer interval as 300 seconds, right? So now you gotta wait uh, until and unless you reduce the buffer size. So, you know, this is my settings for my backup, right? Because, uh, Data will be dumped to my S3 as well, right? Uh, so I'm just waiting. Hopefully, I should see in a couple of minutes. I will try to trim this part. I, you know, I know it's a little hard to wait, but I'll, I'll try to trim the part if possible. But uh, yeah, so let's, you know, again put messages. Still have 153 here. I'm still waiting for uh, it to deliver um, because of this um, buffer uh, interval it might take a while but let me see if I can switch this to a shorter interval uh, the maximum okay let me do like you know 20 seconds um, maybe uh, sh putting a shorter interval help will help me you know so I did change oh that was the retry duration ah, I had to change the buffer interval not the retry my bad uh where is the oh seems like oh yeah buffer hints yeah the i think the least i can put is 60 seconds uh, i can't go uh, below 60 seconds so but which is fine 
uh, again i'm putting in data right um, heading over back to my and here you can see 815 right the count just increased uh, right so now uh, as you can see my dashboard is also updating so this way you can essentially use uh, let me stop this before i get a bill from aws <laughs> so this way essentially you can leverage the use of uh, firehose to deliver data to open search elastic search in a nice fashion well why do you if you are doing a historical data dump or if you want to dump a lot of data well one approach is you, you know you say hey why can't you use an sqs and lambda well but the problem with that is you have to write a layers because you have to upload an elastic search library then you have to do a put request make sure of the error handling because the failed request will go to the dead letter instead just use a firehose right it does the job for you right uh, and once you're done with that massive dump you can uh, remove the firehose and then switch back to your old whatever you know stuff but if you have massive number of data coming in i think firehose is the way to go thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this uh, small insight with that being said i'll try to put the code in the description section below it's, it's a pseudo code all it does fake data to kinesis uh, hopefully that helps right uh, if you have any more questions on that let me know in the comment section below i'll leave the part, uh, part one video in the description in that way if you want to check it out check it out next part we'll learn the lambda transformation with kinesis firehose and open search all right see you in the next video